Alright guys, welcome back to another recap, another green day in the books, another not so easy day in the books, but uh, I was able to end green, nicely green, and on today's recap, again, I'm going to show you guys a lot of live trades, this time I was able to watch the video, write down the time frames that uh, I want to show you guys the trades, and, uh, and I'm going to show you all of those trades here in a second. Um, now the reason they are live and I'm showing you to you guys here is if you guys are new, I stream live every single morning completely free, 15 minutes before market opens but you know you know guys it's sometimes not easy managing two chats trading stocks reading comments talking out loud and uh, right now I'm really focused on you know trying to, to trying to get bigger days trying to get this green month and I got myself up today 800 bucks and I ended up giving all of that back and so I was sitting at like negative eleven dollars or something like that and you know, I was doing great. I had a lot of good trades this morning. I think I started off with like four, five, six winners in a row of small little profits. But ultimately, I got stuck in two red trades that I ended up losing all of it. Went down to a red day. And I told myself, you know, I need to step up a little bit and walk a little bit. Uh, not even that long. I literally went and got filled up my water and got a little bar for a snack and then came back to trade again. Um, I started the recording, so I was able to capture these on live video and then show you guys as well. But, you know, these are days that... That don't happen that often uh, most of the times I stick it out in the live stream and you guys can see the trades live and or hear my ideas and all that stuff so I apologize for ending the stream but here's a recap and this is gonna be a nice recap so before I get into the trades the final PL and all that stuff please 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 hit a thumbs up guys I do everything free in this channel recaps live streams people charge 75 80 90 100 bucks and I guarantee it, those guys don't even have this much consistency or profits as me uh, this year uh, there's people that have more profits and stuff but their consistency isn't as great but th they're all charging for these live streams and I do everything free so all I ask guys is for the thumbs up leave a comment down below let me know how you did today what did you nail today what didn't you nail today uh, just all that stuff now the total PL for today is going to be twelve hundred and fifty uh, dollars so 1250 on the day now here is the thing that I was telling you guys that I was up 800 and then I got stuck in two red trades here and I'll try to go over those as well and so I literally went down to like $11 red on the day um, took my break came back and then I was able to nail a lot of good trades and these are the ones that I'm going to show you guys right now but so before I get to those I'm going to show you guys these right here at, at the morning and I also have to explain this because this is why I got burned a little bit, so if I go ahead and clear all of this, this is what the daily is showing to me, right? So Tesla, we had a nice pop, and then we had all of these consolidation candles here. Now we're sitting at six days uh, red, but we're all kind of going down to these lows and then tapping all of these 180 range 186 to like 190 range and every time we get into this range we bounce we bounce we bounce now before today opened we actually had a gap up and so in my mind i thought you know we have a nice push there we have five candles red on uh, on the daily slow decrease in volume if we get a gap up or any kind of buyer step in through here, I could see this thing run 195, 197, 200 dollars, come back up to this previous payment, and that's why I had a really bullish mentality coming into today, and it worked. You can see it worked in the first 20, 30 minutes of market open, and then I got burned on this backside here. So starting off the morning here. Uh, I can show you guys a couple trades if you guys want to pause and take a look at them. So I think I literally was buying small little dips. I think I bought this one down there. Had a very nice trade. I was up like 100, 150 bucks. Added to it there. Bought these pullbacks here to this support at 194. Uh, 194 was a previous level that I had seen on the bigger time frames, and so I was really fixated on 194 holding, and so that is why I ended up taking a lot of longs off of 194. I think the best one that I took, so these were kind of like $100 winners, $100 winners. I think the best took that I, t the best trade that I took was this one right here. So as soon as this dipped to 90, 194, I ended up buying 500 shares right there. You can see the entry at 194.08, and I took this up to 194, and then all the way up here 194.60. So about six. 60 cents there on $500 or 500 shares. So that was probably like a $300 winner there. Um, and then again, as soon as this thing came back down, I actually tried a short off of 194. Now that 194 had 
been broken and had already been a support so right here I tried the dip there I tried the dip here and then as soon as I saw this flush here I actually tried a short there 194 ended up going against me and then we kind of reclaimed 194 and so at this point I thought okay we're gonna hold 194 we're kind of in this pennant here the daily is telling me this thing could be bullish the the bigger time frames is telling me that this could hold 194 again and we could get a nice pop through here and that is where I ended up flipping the day completely so I ended up going from like $800 profit to catching some of these longs here and then so this one right there and then selling down here and then buying here and then getting absolutely flushed on this candle there and so I took the losses there and you can see I mean after that I, I didn't trade one two three four minutes and kind of small scalp there ran to get water somewhere through here and then finally got back into action around here so as far as the trades for this afternoon um I'll show you guys the videos here in a second, uh, but I think I was able to capitalize some of these shorts here. I got a very nice long off the lows here. Um, I had a, a short here, and I was able to get myself really quickly back up to the green, and I'll show you this, the trades here again. Like I said, I was able to quickly get myself back in the green, so I went from like negative 11 to I think the first trade was I was positive green 500 already, and I'll show you guys that one. And then within the next trade, I went again like 900 bucks and then after that and you know i was i, I kind of at this trade here i almost went up 1.5 which at that moment was the biggest uh pnl that i had seen all day but i didn't realize it so i guess i could just stop talking and show you guys the trade so the first one is right around so let me go ahead and pull this over so the first one was right around and again guys so this is a recording the bottom right is me live right now first one happened at 440 so whenever I came back let me see if so that was too much so uh, right here you can see uh, I'm kinda got myself back in the green when I ended stream I was exactly at this point right here so I was down $11 um, and so I kind of, you know, hit a couple of good plays through here, I guess. Got myself up 124. But this thing was pretty heavy, and even that, before I ended the stream, I did call it out and say, if this thing wants to uh, be this heavy, this thing could drop down to 190 again. And if we lose that 190, 186, 7, 8, and could keep dropping even lower. So I... I was like, you know what, I'm going to take advantage of it. I, I came back and I thought, you know, I'm just going to keep shorting this thing and see how low this wants to drop. So I jumped into a short there. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it a little bit better. It's kind of hard to tell which one's the real one, which was not. So I'm in that short, 500 shares. I'm still holding it, kind of looking for that low day. There, it finally accelerates. I'm not taking any profit because at this one, I think I can break low day. There it goes. I'm still not selling. This thing is pretty heavy all morning, so I tried to uh, milk every single trade that I was in because I know that when days like this start selling off, it can sell off. When days happen that the stock is absolutely ripping, then you, know, you can take advantage of holding a little bit longer. So I'm still in full size there, kind of looking for this thing to hit another low kind of sell off a little bit more uh, you can see that I went from like a hundred bucks on the day to now sitting at four hundred dollars green fast forward a little bit see I, I started taking some out now so I can fast go back a little bit as soon as the new candle opens I end up taking some out I drop it down my shares as to 200 covered some and then this thing actually still goes for another low and I end up covering a little bit more so this was the first trade that you know I didn't go big red I came back to sit at my desk and you know I focused on the trade I got this little day break I was able to follow it down pretty nicely I didn't panic out of it and held it for that big move down and so I got this very nice trade here that I went from you know 120 bucks on the day to now sitting at about 500 I think I close it all right around here so there so I close in I, I go up to a $530 uh, profit the next trade is gonna happen I don't know why this doesn't have any so it happened at 1406 so it's about this one right here okay this this was a very nice trade you know I think that other one was somewhere around here so I guess it still dropped a little bit more so that other trade was happening right here and you know at this point I kind of let it drop I, I might have tried a few longs because I was up 500 now I'm only up 400 so I did give some back and you know that happens I'm okay with it you know I'm not gonna nail every single trade that I take but in this case I you know kind of was like okay we're at 190 uh, 190 is gonna be strong uh, we already didn't accelerate we already kind of consolidate 
I just took the chance and I said, I'm going to take this long and see if I get a nice bounce. I add 500, you know, and this thing is holding. I see the tape get stronger. I add another 500. I'm looking for this red candle to go green, get that next leg up, get that next candle to open green, and get us a push right back on up. So I'm sitting with 1,000 shares. You know, 1,000 shares is a lot on Tesla, like I keep telling you guys. You know, and I'm holding. And I add another 500. I, I, I was so confident on this trade right here. And this is why I need to sometimes, you know, this is what I needed to focus, uh, you know. I was trading on stream, and I did good. I got myself up 800, and I got caught in two little flushes that just wiped it all back. But I, I stepped away. I got something to drink. I got a bar, and I came back, and I said, I'm not thinking about how much I was up. I'm thinking about this trade right now, what I want to see, what I want to do, how I want to approach this trade. And in that moment, I said, I, I could see a bounce here. And... I'm going to play it aggressively. I'm still up really good on the month. So, you know, if I have a red day, oh, well, I don't get a all green month. Oh, oh well, you know, but I, today Tesla was moving and I took the advantage of it and I jumped in 1,500 shares right here. And as soon as this thing pops, you can see again, I'm, I'm being cautious with my shares, which probably costed me on this trade because I was probably thinking this thing could pop up 191, 191.5. So I thought I could get a huge, huge bounce. Look at the five minute on this thing. You know, this thing just dropped from one. 195 all the way down to 190 without a single green candle on the five and i thought you know if we get a nice pop we could pop up to 195 191 191 50 something like that so i only take 200 shares i added 500 500 500 on the first pop i get i only added i only took out 200 pops a little bit again i mean you know, I'm, I'm only covering 200 at a time i'm still sitting with 1100 shares that's a lot uh, another 200 they covered at this point i really wanted this thing to open up but uh on this trade i mean i was up 400 before i took this trade now i'm sitting in this trade still 900 shares long right there i'm hitting about 940 998 i kind of saw there flash a little bit uh 960s 900 so it's, and my pno is moving pretty fast and here you could see i tried waiting for this thing to just give me one leg up and kind of it, kind of initiate that tiny little bit of a squeeze here you see that triple top so i'm trying to get that little bit of a squeeze through that level there uh there it goes for it again here's where i needed to pull away doesn't quite pull away it's still sitting with 800 shares long 900 on the day 960 970 and doesn't and so i just hesitated and i went you know i think this should have gone right there I'm going to get out of this trade and go from, you know, $11 red on the day to now 400 to now almost $900. Now I was sitting back where I was. Obviously, that's not what I'm thinking, but I'm sitting back exactly where I was. Uh, so that was the second trade there. The next one was about 20 minutes. So let's fast forward a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. You guys can see my PL there. You know, I'm losing 50, 100 bucks per trade here, but I'm kind of trying to find the bigger ones here. So here's another one, uh, 2140, so 30 seconds more. There it is. So again, I was in that long right there, right? And I wanted this thing to pop up, pop up, pop up. I actually was short on this one, I think, and I ended up getting stuffed. So I had already tried this move down once, and it went against me. But, you know, once I see it again, it doesn't want to push up. Then I want to go ahead and take the short again. And now, this this time, I'm, I'm kind of looking again. Do we get a new low a day? Do we get a new low a day? So I add 500. This thing is looking heavy to me. I think it pops a tiny bit here. Uh, kind of there it is and I think I slam it again I think I jump in another 500 share short yet so now I'm sitting again a thousand shares on Tesla $190 stock and I'm sitting with a thousand shares short I finally get that move here and if I'm not wrong I think this is a trade that works in my favor that put me to the highest PL that I was at all day but I didn't realize and you guys are gonna see it so I'm holding still you know a thousand shares short i'm already up an extra 400 bucks on this trade and i've not covered a single thing i'm sure i'm going to cover here but look at this right there again this thing just sold off another 40 cents and i am still full size share in this thing have not covered at all and you know it sells there and and look i finally covered how much did i cover only 100 shares you know i wanted this thing to just fall off you know and it already had but with that momentum there's a lot of buyers that are going to step in and a lot of buyers are going to have stops and so if they took that trade there and their stop is right here this thing could have easily gone down another half half dollar whole dollar move after that so i tried holding and holding and holding and holding i think this candle actually closes strong 
I think this candle actually gets another further down leg down because I'm up 1200 right now. I'm kind of, you know, watching this, watching this. If this wants to pop, I'm fully out, but I'm, I'm watching it. 900 shares still short. I get it, a new candle there, and I'm looking for a new low. I don't even add to this. I just hold it. You, you can see, sometimes you can tell when I hesitate to add because right now I'm, I'm sitting with 100 shares short, right? 100 shares short. But if you see this right there, I switch it to 500. When I do that, I'm not wanting to cover 500. I'm wanting to add 500. So I almost added another 500 shares short here for the next leg down. Do I add? I don't. So then what I do, I go back and decrease my share size to a small amount, 100, to a small amount because now when this does pop, I've already missed my, my read. I've already missed my read. I'm not chasing this anymore. But now I'm preparing myself to cover. So when the next drop does happen and I miss my entry, I can cover. So I cover there 100 shares. Hits a new low day. I, I'm in 800 shares. I think I cover maybe 200 if I'm not wrong. So 100, 100, 100 there. Because I think I had 600 shares short when I fully... I don't remember, honestly. It is very... I mean, obviously it doesn't... It took so many trades. So, okay, so it was 700. So I had 700 shares short there. I think the most I was up, and you guys see it on that last spike down uh, right here. I'm up 1,300. I cover there to down to 800. On this spike down here, there it is. I'm up almost 1,500 on the day. So now I, I'm, I'm up decently, right? But, you know, I was still holding that big share size, looking for this thing to go all the way down. Ends up not doing that, so it comes right back up. And on that pop-up, you know, I'm like, I'm not gonna hold this thing. I'm gonna take my profit. So now I'm up 1250 on the day. Uh, you guys are probably thinking, so is this where you stopped? Because you stopped at 1253. No, I ended up trading a little bit more, and uh, I didn't get that many good trades after that. So let's keep going here. I think the next trade was at like, okay, that's too much. 44 exactly right here. So let me go ahead and backtrack a little bit. Somewhere in here, I took a very nice trade again. Oh right there so this thing pops up a little bit again and these are the trades that you know I'm already in it and I have full size in or at least a big amount of shares in and I have such a good entry that sometimes I just try to hold them and leave a stop in place as much as possible to see if I can write them down so I think these next two trades are gonna do that uh, both of them where I'm in a good trade I'm in a good average I'm in with big size and I'm looking for this thing to continue dropping to continue pushing but I just end up not actually getting that moves and so I stop out but both of these trades you guys will see that I was in uh, you know up another couple hundred bucks and then this thing ends up going against me so right there I'm already in 600 shares short you know I'm already up another 150 bucks on this trade right I could close it out right there and call it uh, up almost 1300 but again I'm holding I'm looking for this thing to pull back a little bit more it tries to there. It doesn't quite get it. I'm kind of looking for this pivot there to keep holding. I put my stop in place now. I'd break even a little bit under break even right there. And so I'm, I'm thinking to myself either look at this. I'm up another $250 on this trade. If I close it out right now, I'm sitting at a $1,400 a day. I'm thinking if this thing drops, I'm sitting at a $1,500, $1,600 a day. If this thing pushes up, then I'm still sitting at $1,100, $1,200 a day. And it just happened to do the opposite of what I wanted to. Uh, I think on this trade and on the next trade. So right now, you guys can tell, obviously, I'm in short on this one. I'm looking for this thing to keep dropping. I'm sitting at about $1,300 short there, uh, $1,300 profit here. This thing does not want to keep selling off. It wants to keep holding here, holding here, and eventually this thing does come up and stop me out right there. I had to fast forward a little bit. So there you go. So I, it comes up, stops me out. So I was sitting about almost $1,400, and on this trade I ended up making $1,100, uh, or at least closing my P&L at 1100 So that's that's that one. And then the last one I was around 56 56 minutes so a little bit farther up and this was the last trade of the day I was able to nail a top up here so I am in on this thing right here 500 shares so I'm trying to nail this top if I see, I see this five minute kind of to me looks a little bit extended let me play it looks a little bit extended trying to nail the top I jump in 500 shares this actually pulls down in my favor again and I think this time I covered 300 shares yep so I covered 300 shares there I'm in with 200 shares still short on this play Um, I think I actually re-added so I added there another 500 looking for this thing to continue moving downwards 
um, and on that move downward it actually pulls down a little bit I cover some so I'm sitting with 300 shares short now and right here now I have 200 shares short and 200 shares short on this thing I put my stop a little bit under break even so my break even looks like it's 191.44 and the stop I guess it's probably 191.44 and it's just 200 shares right 200 shares you know I'm up 60 bucks on this trade right here sitting at almost 1300 on the on the day but I told myself this is probably the last trade of the day you can see I'm not even looking at the chart anymore I'm looking at my phone I mean I'm kind of glancing up and down at it but I'm looking at my phone here I'm not looking at the trade anymore and my stop is a break even if this comes up I lose 80 bucks right here uh, from the profit if, if this keeps going down further then um, Maybe I get a big winner here. Now, my thought process on this trade was, you know, if I look at this overall day today, to me, this sold off really hard. To me, this bounced really nice. And to me, if if we're going to keep selling off like we did, uh, like we like I thought we would, you know, go down to 190, break 190, go down to 189, 88, 87, maybe 85, I thought this thing could derail today because of that daily, right? Because of that daily thinking, okay, here, I'm just going to show you guys this. Because of this daily, right, it's holding, 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 holding. We already tried today, got stuff. If we don't stuff here, we're going to sell off. And so I thought we were going to go back down and break those lows. So I, I kind of held these 200 shares here and actually pulls down pretty nice somewhere through here you can see I'm not even looking at the chart anymore I got my stop in place right here I think was probably the most it dropped right there so at the most I was up $1,300 on the day and uh, I just kept holding it you know I had a stop now a little bit under break even um, so if it came back up it, it would stop me and I guess I just ended up finishing the stream there but this thing ended up pushing up I guess because I was done trading and this thing was a stop at break even I was like I'm not gonna keep my stream running so this thing did come up right here it stopped me out and that was the very last trade of the day which that was the very last trade that put me at 1253 so that trade was around right here so that was right here it couldn't push down lower there and so I ended up getting stopped out right there so I held it short from here held it through all of this pull back here which that was two four six eight about ten minutes and then when it finally popped up I got out of that trade and that was the very last trade of the day for me so twelve hundred dollars on the day <sighs> and uh still all green for this month still killing it still crushing it um a little lucky today you know if if tesla wouldn't have been selling off like this if tesla didn't have this move today i might have been able to be green since i was only down 11 bucks but i wouldn't have been able to turn around into another five figure four figure day one two three four, four figure day sorry Another four figure. I wouldn't have been able to do that if, if tesla wasn't selling off like that so i got i got lucky again you know um Two more days. Last time I had an attempt to go all green on a month. The second to last day is when I ended up going red. So I'm just praying that tomorrow I can just go small green or just decent green. Uh, so that it doesn't happen twice in a row where the second to last day of the month I go red. But other than that guys, today was a nice day. Today was a, a good day. Um, if you guys really like this recap, please, please, please hit the thumbs up. Please comment down below. You know, it takes a lot out of my day to come back and make this recap for you guys. You know, I, I made 1300 bucks today. You know, I'm done trading. I don't even look at the charts anymore. I could be doing something else. But I do all of these things for you guys so you guys can learn and keep watching and, and studying and all that stuff. So please, please, please leave some comments. Leave a thumbs up on these videos. Um... That's going to be it. I will be back to streaming tomorrow morning, so I'll be here in 15 minutes before market opens, so you guys definitely tune in. I had about 120 on YouTube and almost 200 over on Tradecasters, so still hovering at about 300 viewers a day. So you guys come hang out, say hi, and let me know you're there. That's it for this recap, guys. You guys take care. You guys have a good one, and I will see you guys tomorrow.